Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbin. And for one more week, if you can indulge us in deviating from our normal just RV content, week. just one more week, um, we'll get to a real good one next week because I'm going to be answering the eternal question. Right. Is Dawn or McGuire's the better soap to wash your RV? And that'll be coming up next week. But that'll just, be very interesting. But what do we get this week? We have our project number two for our filmmaking class. And in this project, it was to just come up with a larger piece. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to look at Vermont country grocery stores, corner grocery stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so what were some of the stuff we did differently this time? What we were doing differently is picking out the music ahead of time and matching the clips to the music and doing some little bit more interesting editing tricks just to try them out. So hopefully you'll like what we came up with and stay tuned for next week as well as hopefully a little enjoyable video this week. You can see behind us. Right, that's the, the ice our storm. Tr our tree hasn't come back up yet. Yeah, if you check out, crossed. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's gonna go vertical here shortly. Right. Um, but yeah, so. Okay, so if you're like most Americans, you do most of your shopping in places like that, Walmart or a big, big huge supermarket. One of the unique things about Vermont though, however, is our corner grocery stores. You know, most people think of Vermont, they think of the beauty, the monuments, the, the quaint village. But really, one of the things that sets us aside is these corner grocery markets. And why do they still exist? Why are they still here? When there's a Walmart, there's a Price Chopper, there's another big grocery store, yet we still have at least six of these little mom and pop corner grocery stores. And we're gonna visit a bunch of them and we're gonna put together our meal for tonight from just these corner grocery stores. So let's go ahead and check some of them out. And that's why we're here at the Elm Street Market to start our day by getting some soup. We're here at Elm Street Market out here in Bennington and we've decided to get the soup here as far as our meal goes for tonight. And um, I tell you, I've had a lot of comments about this place on some of our videos, so it looks like it's gonna be a delicious soup. is right next to our next stop on our corner grocery store tour and it's the Holden Mill and it's very typical of why these stores actually existed in the day and why they continue to exist now. You can see the mill, textile mill, classic New England textile mill and it's inhabited by a bunch of different businesses now. So here at the corner market, we've gotten our pasta salad. That's gonna be the salad for our meal. So it should be totally awesome. And you can see the corner market that we were just at. And it's positioned really close to all these houses and the mill. That is just a tub of goodness. Their own smoked cheddar cheese, their bacon, which is spectacular. It's that thick bacon, which is so good. This is gonna be the entree for our dinner. And these guys are known as by far the best meat in all of town. And everybody comes here when they're looking for their steaks, their barbecues. And so we're gonna go ahead and I'll get the uh, New York Prime Strip. So you're looking at this one right here? That one right there, yep. Henry's got that classic look of the Vermont corner stores. You know, it's really packed in tight. 
You can get everything here, prepared meals, can, your beer, your alcohol. It's a one-stop shop, which is what they were designed to do around the mills here. And of course, you can see the mill that goes along to Henry's, which is right behind me, the meat store where we got our main uh, dinner. But yeah, another mill right now, it's Lozon's Machine Shop and Engineering, some place I also spend a little bit of time in. Willie's is right next to this mill here. This mill has a interesting history with me as I worked here for most of my working career. As you pan around the mill, unlike a lot of more modern cities and things where the factories are set off in the behind the scenes kind of thing in the big open fields in the Midwest, these are right near where all the workers would work and shop at the variety stores. Willie's is easily one of the most classic of all the corner variety stores in Vermont and I used to walk here every single morning at 9 a.m. for a cup of Green Mountain coffee. But today, Willie's is gonna be for our dessert. All right, we've got our multi-berry muffin. And if I recall from my work days, this is one of the best muffins you're ever gonna eat. So Willie's is known for their uh, bakery goods. And you can see it's just classic Vermont right here. I love this place. All right, let's get our dessert. Let's move on. our meal from our Vermont corner grocery store. So let's go ahead and have a taste and see how it works out. We'll start with that ver Italian wedding soup. It's got large couscouses, some meatballs. Mm. It's absolutely perfect. The broth is very hearty, is very thick. It's got some kale in it. All of that works really, really well. Our next stop was our salad. And you can see they've got cheese and peppers and all different kinds of colors of pasta. Nice texture, really, really good. Let's finish with this steak from Henry's. Hopefully the smoking worked. It's got that smoky flavor. It's perfectly well done, nicely seasoned. Now let's go ahead and finish with that multi berry dessert, which will be our muffin, which if we don't finish it all, we'll substitute for a great breakfast in the morning. Look at that. Mm. Quite possibly the best muffin I've ever had. There you have it. Grocery stores in Vermont, a lot different and a lot higher quality than what you're going to get at your Walmart. All right. Well, there you have it. Our film project is done. Right. It was a bit of a challenge to do, but a lot of fun. You can see from uh, our opening, our bendy birch is no longer hanging right. over our It's sort of hanging it's there, a little but, bit, but not too, too, not bad. too bad. So hey, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you have any suggestions about our cinematography skills. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one and no more film projects every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.